Now, to start us off, Senior Wealth Advisor Leslie McCormick of the Farwell Group joins us. She's author of the book Bank on Yourself, Why Every Woman Should Plan Financially to Be Single Even If She's Not. Good morning, Leslie, and what do you have for us today? Good morning, Marilyn. Today, I'm going to talk about inflation. It's a word we've been hearing more and more about in the news as governments continue to spend a lot of money and at a time when we're looking forward to our economy opening up again. Inflation is a topic that we've been talking a lot about with our clients and making portfolio changes for. And so today, I'd like to talk about the one challenge that every retiree needs to overcome, inflation. The cost of maintaining a comfortable retirement increases over time. Historically, Canadian inflation rates averaged about 3.5% per year. And with people living longer, we need to be prepared to live and maintain our lifestyle for a long time. In fact, it's not uncommon for retirement to last 30 years or more. For someone who starts retirement with an income need of, say, $10,000 a month, in 30 years, at a 3% inflation rate, they would need an income of over $24,200 per month just to maintain the same lifestyle. It's why I believe that growth can't stop at retirement. One of the biggest mistakes we see people make is becoming too conservative in their investments too early. Conventional retirement planning insisted that as you get within about 10 years of retirement or so, you start reducing growth and increasing safe, secure investments so that by the time you retire, you have little in growth-oriented investments left and a lot of low-return guaranteed types of investments. You might have heard a rule of thumb that for each year of your age, that's the percentage you would have in conservative investments. If you were 70, that rule of thumb says you had to have 70% in conservative investments. And when interest rates were higher and life expectancies were shorter, this approach worked. Unfortunately, for most of today's retirees, this approach simply doesn't work. In fact, we live in an age where interest rates are less than the rate of inflation, and that's before tax. Today, guaranteed interest investments guarantee that you won't keep pace with inflation. They guarantee that you won't be able to buy the same groceries in the future that you buy today if all you have are very conservative investments. It's my opinion that we need some growth. In fact, it's expected that a full 60% of retirement income will come from growth after you retire. And think about it. If we now expect retirements to last 30 years or more, when we retire, we still have a long time horizon. We have a long time ahead of us still. This risk of being too conservative in your investments too early can mean running out of money because you didn't get to experience enough growth during your retirement years. Now, Marilyn, I want to be clear. There is a place and there is a necessity in retirement portfolios for conservative investments. The issue is having enough for the security of your income today while allowing for reasonable growth so your portfolio can provide that income needed 20, 25, 30 years from now. We need to rethink the structure of retirement income portfolios. We need to balance conservative with reasonable growth that's suitable for the underlying needs of the individual and what their current and long-term needs are. And rather than using traditional rules of thumb that only consist they're really one factor, age, that balance needs to be determined based on the entirety of your personal circumstances, your sources of income, your rate of taxation, how much you actually need from your investments each year, your risk tolerance, your goals and objectives and what really matters to you. Rather than a one-size-fits-all approach, conquering the challenge of overcoming inflation can be done with proper planning and structuring of your investments. 
balancing conservative income with reasonable growth, given your own personal circumstances, with the goal, not just retiring comfortably, but remaining that way also. Well, it reminds me of what Darren started as a theme in my show years ago. You don't know what you don't know. And we can't control inflation and the things that happen in the economy. And no one wants to outlive their money. So if someone wants to talk to you about their portfolio and if they find out if they're doing it right, how do we reach you? You can give us a call at 416-863-7500. Four one six eight six three seven five zero one. Dial the number, speak to either Leslie McCormick or Darren Farwell. They have a team of experts, they'll consult with you, and then you'll know if you're on the right path. Inactivity won't get you any information. Taking that action will let you know if you have reasonable growth in your portfolio and if, in fact, you can outlive your money. And, in fact, know that you have enough money to live a long, happy life. Thank you, Leslie. You're welcome, Marilyn. Have a wonderful weekend.